Hello, and welcome to the fifth episode of Security by Behemoth. This is a two-part episode geared toward safe and effective commerce during this holiday season. It will include tips for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. This specific episode is more about physical security in terms of ATMs, credit cards, and safe shopping. The second episode will be about electronic means such as using home Wi-Fi and cracking the credit code algorithm. The first attack that I will talk about for the physical perspective will be an attack perpetrated at an automatic teller machine or ATM. It is used fairly rarely but it is possible using a guitar tuner such as this one. What happens is that the perpetrator will be around the corner or out of sight of the ATM. They will wait for you to walk up, enter your PIN, and at this point they have already deconstructed what each beep corresponds to on the guitar tuning scale. So at that point they can actually overhear your PIN and decipher it. They will then either blindly steal your credit card or possibly physically assault you and steal your credit card. If the physical assault is the case, they probably already have the area scoped out and are out of the camera's view, and they probably also have uh, clothes with little fiber content and gloves so that there will be very little forensic trace. Um, <clears throat> that ties into the next attack that I call clubbing over the head, which, uh, just as it sounds, uh, you are physically attacked at the ATM and the perpetrator uh, either copies your credit card for a later electronic attack or after you have logged into the ATM cleans out your daily maximum if your bank enforces one. The next topic is malls. Everyone will be at some sort of store or mall if shopping is something that they're interested in. With this being said, uh, it is a place where hackers can have a field day, so to speak, and use Bluetooth or Wi-Fi to lure people into connecting to their network. And then at that point, uh, especially if you use something like Google Wallet or Apple's counterpart, they can actually gain access to your phone and steal any information that's on it. Uh, as I previously discussed during mobile device security, the default password to an Apple product is Alpine. So with that being said, be very vigilant. I recommend disabling Bluetooth and Wi-Fi unless you are actively using either of the two. Uh, be very cautious of anything that you take part in over this period of time uh, as cyber criminals will be very active. I have already heard some chatter that Anonymous plans to uh, make their presence very well known throughout this season, which leads into the final attack for this episode. Uh, it is a skimmer theft, which is where something that doesn't look out of the ordinary will be placed over the card reader, and you will access the ATM, and you won't really know that it's happening, but it's recording your card information and your PIN, and then it phones home. Uh, usually over a cellular signal or Wi-Fi to whoever put it there and they steal your credit card information. Because it looks legitimate, it's very hard to dispute this. And if they're taking more than $500, then the credit card companies must actually utilize their insurance policy to take care of it. Another possibility would be someone uh, putting something in line uh, with the communication circuit of the ATM, such as the phone line or the Wi-Fi or even physically opening the ATM and putting something inside it which that's something that you would never know about until it's too late but at that point you could you would have a very good case in court to get your money back uh, if they put something in line uh, what will happen is while everything is being processed uh, it's connecting to your bank or their bank everything will be recorded and sent to another location uh, again using cellular 3G or Wi-Fi to do so. Uh, the likelihood of actually having something in line 
that someone has to come and pick up is very slim, but it is a possibility. So my best advice to you would be to only use ATMs that are legitimate. Uh, I recommend using the ones at your bank or another well-known bank in your area if possible. And then if not, just try to make a note of where you use the ATM. So if this does come up, you actually can proceed with legal action for that specific ATM. So with it, uh, there are a plethora of ways that this could be perpetrated. And this is really only a what if scenario, but the threat is real. Any criminal that is out uh, between now and Christmas would know that more than likely if someone is in a store, they have money and they are willing to spend it. And while cash is still used, it's kind of a thing of the past and it's easier um, to use the credit cards um, as your weapon of choice in the criminal activity. So with that, uh, I'm going to conclude this episode. Uh, stay tuned for the second edition of this episode. Uh, it's going to be more electronic in nature, such as how uh, credit cards are deconstructed in terms of their card numbers, and uh, more specifically, uh, what you should do with your home network and where you should and should not conduct your e-commerce. So uh, until next time, stay secure.